happy solstice. <laughs> it's a very interesting solstice, uh, summer solstice here in uh, Virginia. It is unseasonably cool. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to get out of the 60s today. And normally uh, we're in the upper 80s. It's quite blustery. And um, I guess the rain is supposed to get more uh, widespread over the day. Um, not really storms though. So this is very, very unusual for us. And I'm usually not up this early. It's like 6.30. <laughs> but you know, I've got an appointment later this morning. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna get up. And I'm making my tea. My Baba Yaga's blend tea, which is, um, I blend it with, it's mostly Lapsang Souchong, which is a um, smoky tea. And uh, then there's some Assam and there's some Keeman in it. And since it's Wednesday, I get to have some honey in my tea. <laughs> I used to have honey like every day in my tea and then I started drinking some pu'er tea in the morning. Um, I do all in my black teas, I pretty much always have some um, milk or half and half though. My green teas are completely plain. And as a matter of fact, I have some sun tea. Where is that? Uh, from the other day in here. This is a, um, like a jasmine sun tea. It's green tea. There's my sodas. My, um, what you call it? Black currant raspberry sodas. Um, and yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of early this morning. I'm gonna go downstairs here. Oh, this is the book that I'm reading that I haven't, that I've had on my shelf forever. And I'm just now starting to read it, Drawing Down the Moon by uh, Margot Adler. Let's see if I can get this so you can read the witches, druids, goddess worshipers, and other pagans in America. It's, um, I think it was first published in the early 70s, and uh, then she, um, there is a update in like 83. So it's not a new book, but I've got my dehumidifier. I'll just turn that off for now. Um, going. I was scanning some negatives yesterday. Haven't even turned on my computer yet. Um, anyway, so the book. So the book is very good. It's it's quite a tome. I mean, yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of, there's probably at least 100 pages of appendix um, and index at the back, notes and whatnot. I did do my first uh, harvest of... Um, poppies uh, yesterday. Um, all the leaves are starting to turn brown on these. So I took them, I took them out by the roots and um, hopefully all these, uh, I'll have a lot of seeds in these. And these, these aren't even, these aren't even the big ones. These are, these are relatively small. They had just come up in various parts of the garden and um, some of them weren't as robust as, as the others, but um, it's my chamomile and my, <laughs> I have my, oh, we got a little bit, this is interesting, I have milkweed blossoms here that got blown into the, uh, into the calendula, oh well, and here's my dried 
It's so funny. They're not. These are the poppy. Um, the poppy petals I thought I'd try drying. Uh, but they're not. I, I expected them to be like crispy by now, but they're not. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Okay. And I, <clears throat> I got some new jars because I have, I want to put my, um, this is my, I can't really see here, huh? Let's see if we do these. There we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, this is my, um, this is the wormwood. And this is the first harvest of mugwort for drying. And then I have some... I have some chamomile hanging, and then I picked a bunch more chamomile that I just laid down here. I want to have new templates. I've, I was making new templates for flags, for the cyanotype flags. Um, let me see. I'm, dry, I'm trying them, what am I saying? I'm flattening them out here. So these will all be for... Um, for some new cyanotype flags. And I wanna make some smaller, some smaller sets and um, I don't know, sell them on Etsy, or I don't know if I'll go back to Etsy, but I think these will make really nice uh, cyanotype sets. Um, I did a couple of kind of goddess-inspired ones here. Come back here. Here she is with the full moon. And here she is with a crescent moon. Yeah, so I've got to get my cloth to size and then um, and then sensitize it and start doing some um, some new uh, Some new flags, some new sign types. There's my altar for this solstice. I haven't lit any candles yet. This is the come to me oil from Rebecca, the, uh, from Rebecca's class, and my and my pine resin. Everything's so dark. My pine resin from my pine tree. Might burn some of that later. And <laughs> and one of my uh, not very well glazed pieces from my um, hand building class. I could repair, I could, you know, re redo this or reglaze it or do a second glaze on this, but I probably won't. But anyway, I'm still using it because it, it looks like a pine cone to me. Anyway, well, I better get to my tea. I wish you all a good um, summer solstice. Maybe it'll be summery where you are. It's not really here, but you know what? I don't I don't mind that much because we're so we've been so lacking in rain and the longer we can hold off intense heat the better. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Bye.